head over to the Magella track now as we begin another Grand Prix with Valentino Rossi, the doctor. And um, we're going to see how we do this time out. So it's on 105 difficulty. As we see Dovi taking pole there, the Italian man himself. Well, he's, that's going to be hard to kind of catch up to him. And we've got Mark Marquez, the world champion, in second position. That's going to be hard to keep up with them too. That duo there, they're going to be out in front. And who do we have in third position? Oh, they're not showing third. We've got Carol Abraham in 20. Funny why they would show him. Um, so we are going to have a look at the grid. So we've got Dovi, Marquez, Rins, Rossi, Petrucci, Miller. Uh, the first two rows. And then we got Johan Mir, Crotchlow, Vinales, Takaka Nakagami, Morbidelli, and Paul As Alicia Spargro to finish out that order. Quattuaro, Lorenzo, Bagnai, Oliveira, Zarco, and the Spargaro brother. We've got Tito Rabat, Cal Abraham, Andre Unoni, and Hafiz Siren. So we have grabbed a fourth position here in Mugello. Um, we have eight, uh, eight laps around this track, and uh, we're going to see how we go. Um, I wasn't I wasn't completely strong in the qualifying. Um, it was tough to try to keep up with the big boys, but uh, we're going to see how we do here as we get on the way here in fourth position, surrounded by a bunch of big boys here. We're going to see how we do in this Grand Prix in the doctor's home. Let's see how we go. A terrible start for Davizioso and Marquez as Alex Rins from third position snatches first place and he leads here Jack Miller up into P2 from further back on the grid as we get ourselves into third position third position here for Valentino Rossi and we're going to see if we can keep up with the Pramac and the Suzuki so let's get into this chicane here as them boys are starting to pull away now. Bit of a slow line coming out of that double chicane there. And um, as we come into Savelli, Casanova into Savelli corner here. Yep, into P3. So we're in podium contention. <clears throat> so a very poor start for Marquez and Davizioso, who I expected who I expect to be out in front and now behind me as Mark is, is right behind my tire another thing that is different which I'm I'm actually scared is that I turn the rewind off so if I make a mistake I have to go to the back uh, or wherever I wherever I start so can I keep it together for eight laps we're gonna have a we're gonna have a look so almost finished the first lap as we come into be on Detti one and two here Oh, 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 i got to watch out. I have to watch out for that. That is the part of the track where you just can't trust the curves in this game. In in uh, MotoGP uh, 18, the bumps didn't really mean anything, but in this game in particular, as we go to a tight line, trying to grab as much space as we can. So we are up into P3, Dobby into P5, and Alex Rins grabbing the fastest lap at a 1.52. So that is definitely not the fastest lap this weekend as we go wide oh that's gonna cost us some time here as Mark is is behind us so we're gonna have to keep it relatively clean here this whole lap because that going wide on that first turn really cost us as Mark Marquez you can see there he's battling I think I think he's battling with uh, one of the Pramac boys it's definitely gotta be Bagnai I think Oh no, it's Dovi it looks like, it's one of the Ducatis. Yeah, it's, it's do, um, Dovi. So Dovi and Marquez are battling out, not in first and second, but in fourth and fifth, as we now are in P3. I wouldn't mind grabbing a P3. A P1 would obviously be a better, a better result for us, as I really struggle coming out of that turn there. As we come into this tight chicane here, trying to get a tight turn and defensive line so Marquez can kind of be pushed back as Dobby moves up into P4 so we're gonna stop paying attention to what's happening behind us and start having paying more attention to what's happening in front of us as Alex Rins he is pulling away with this Australian Grand Prix Australian Magello sorry as we pull two seconds behind struggling to keep up because I am really afraid I don't want to crash 
I really don't want to crash, but I got to get that fear out of my mind and try to push the best I can. So, from my knowledge and experience, Jack Miller, I think, I think that's Jack Miller. After I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so Jack Miller, he should start to pull back a bit uh, midway. So, on this lap, he should be slowing down because that's what the Pramax do. They're not really going to keep up with the factory boys. But then again, he has got a two second lead. So if I can really push this lap, I should be able to keep up with him. But my bike now is starting to wobble a bit. So we're going to have a look. If we can keep up with Jack Miller as we take a horribly weird line there. Trying to avoid the curves at all costs. As we come into Casanova, into... Savelli turn so I'm just debating now with myself do I push as hard as I can and try to get a second or do I be patient let Jack Miller back off a bit and I keep a third position because I don't want to cost myself the podium and um, I, I crashed about five times in qualifying so um, it's not an easy track they say it's one of the trickiest but it's definitely my favorite so we're trying to push but not too hard because the wider we go the more time is taken off us and oh the curves here in this track you don't want to mess with the curves here so 2.868 is the time coming out of Beyond Detti 2 as we come into the final turn trying to get that rear wheel back around so we can get a nice drive so Jack Miller has definitely pulled away on that Ducati and we are starting to gain a little bit of ground on Marc Marquez and Dobby. Now Marc Marquez has been pushed down and where is he? Did Marc Marquez crash? Well, I, I couldn't see Marquez's name, wait a sec. I couldn't see Marc Marquez's name there, did he? Did he? Did he fall back or did he crash? I'm, I'm, I'm curious to know. I could see Petrucci's name. I couldn't see Marquez's. Okay, so... Oh, wait. I think that's Marquez there. Wait a second. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? I think that's Marquez there. So his name didn't come up on the board showing positions. Okay, so come into Arabiata 1 okay so alright we got a nice line that's probably the best line I've gotten all weekend there oh that's tough I've crashed about three times on that turn it's by itself so we're coming into this little chicane here out of Palagio and into this little right hander souping right hander here uh, current Corrente or whatever. Can't really pay attention to that word now that I'm paying attention to the track. So, come to Arabiata 1 and 2. Beyond Detti 1 and 2, sorry. Okay, so two points. So he has pulled away a hundred tenths of a second here compared to our last lap. I think I'm going to keep on to third place. Um, I know it's not really entertaining because I'm kind of not really moving anywhere, but if I can keep a third position, I, I say that's a good, a good ending for us on the podium. Alright, I'm gonna push this left guys. Here we go. I'm gonna try to get ahead of Jeff Miller here. I can see him. He's in my sights. Oh dear. Oh dear. That's not good. That's not good. That's definitely gonna bring Marquez up to us. I've gotta really now be careful into that first turn. really got to pay attention here not to really let Marquez catch up to us because if he does oh it's Dobby so if Dobby catches up to us he will pull away I've seen it before happen I've seen it happen before sorry on this track and I am slowing down too much now that Dobby he had to kind of pull out because that's how slow I was going kind of struggling to hurry about the two there that's an okay line okay into the chicane here. Okay. 
So Dovey and Marquez, it takes a little mistake from me to let them through and they will take advantage as the doctor is struggling around this track. Not the bike, I think it's just my aggressiveness is getting the best of me so I'm going to have to keep it together. It's three seconds so I'm going to, right, I'm not going to risk it guys, I'm not going to try to push for second, I'm going to be happy for third. There is three laps to go still in this, a lot can happen in three laps so I'm going to have to keep it together and see if I can hold on to third place. I don't think I'm going to be able to push as Rins is absolutely obliterating this Mugello Grand Prix. He has pulled away now from Jack Miller. So is it Jack Miller slowing down or is it Alex Rins picking up the pace? I'm not sure. We do hope it's the second alternative here. So this is the first time I've played without Rewind since MotoGP 18. So um, I'm going to be pleased with myself. I've gone six laps without crashing. Uh, I did have a moment on the brakes. Oh man, another moment there. Going a bit wide. Oh man, oh, this isn't good. Right, I'm going to have to be quiet for a second, guys, as I tried to keep it together. Oh man. Okay. Oh man, oh man, oh man. This isn't good, this isn't good, this isn't good. Oh, there he is. There is the tire of Mark Marquez. Oh dear. Alright, now I'm on, now is some action for you guys. So it's a good thing and a bad thing. It's good because there's some action. As Marquez, he just pushes his way in saying, Hello, Rossi. I am here for you finally. Now some action begins here. I cannot let Marcus pull away. If he gets ahead of me, that's it. I'm going to have to get him on this turn here. I'm going to have to get a good drive coming out of this last turn here. Oh, and we don't manage to. So that's it. Marquez is out in front and we are back down to P4. Now these two laps will be dedicated to getting around Marquez. Here we go. As our back tire wobbles quite a bit there, we go a bit wide, but that should help us with our drive. Really funny angle there coming out of that turn, so we now are where we don't want to be in between the two demons on this track, Marquez and Dobby. That's not where you want to be, especially when you're in a Yamaha that's struggling. If I can hold on to P4 then, I should be able to... Because Marquez, he is starting to pull away. As you can see, I got a feeling that we were blocking him from executing what he's doing right now. So we started in P4, and we ended up in P4, so... Oh, I felt the rear go there for a bit. As Marquez now, he's pulling away. It's going to be impossible to catch him. I'm going to have to just grind my teeth, guys, and be happy with fourth place. As going wide is really making me struggle here. I just don't feel comfortable with the brakes. At all. I don't feel com confident with the brakes at all. And who's that now coming for us? Take a wider line there. Oh my god, Alex Renz is at least 5-6 seconds ahead. Wow. So Mark is up into P3 as he's pulling away from Da, from Rossi. As this first turn, man. It's this first turn. Alright, we didn't go too wide that time. But that first turn has killed us. Oh dear. I'm probably going to start playing with the rewind on from now on. It just gives it a more realistic feel to it. And it's a more fair game to play. Alright, 
try to get a bit of a chicane line there into the Undetti one. So we are definitely struggling, man. Definitely, I'm not going to even look behind me anymore. I was too busy paying attention to what was happening behind me, and I forgot all about staying focused on being in front. So Dovi will manage to keep up with me if I make any more mistakes. It's just a matter of time. And I believe it was just a matter of time with Marquez as well to make that move. As he has pulled a gap of 2 seconds 35, 53. And the game is over, and we managed to pull out of fourth place, losing the podium position to Mark Marquez. I hope you guys do enjoy the gameplay, and if you have, give a thumbs up and a subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.